Hello guys, and welcome to my very first episode of my Let's Play series of Galactic Civilizations 3. My name's Kieran with Exporminate, and man am I excited, holy moly. Um, I've been playing the crap out of this game for the review, obviously, but I have waited to start a massive map that will hopefully take, let's just say, forever <laughs> uh, for a Let's Play to do. So let's just get right in there. Um... New game. I'm going to play a custom race. Been working on. Um, they're called the Big Mon. Uh, this is the big boss man. He's the leader of them. Uh, they are zealots, so I get an ideology point for every planet I invade, and I'm patriotic, so I'm immune to the large empire approval penalty. Because with those two, I plan on basically conquering the galaxy via military. Because I think that's one of the most exciting ways to play this game. Uh... And just like the ship customization is really fun, so that's a plus for me. So let's look at some of the traits we got. Um, they're forgettable, so not great influence. Their ships can carry 25% more by default, which I think is going to really be helpful. Uh, shipyards produce stuff 20% quicker, less tourist income, more food. Excuse me. Uh, ships have 20% more health, uh, they're easier to hit. They repair a little quicker. I'm not likable. My guys are kind of fast, plus one movement and logistics, uh, plus five to logistics. So most of my bonuses are actually focused around my fleet. So we'll see how that goes, as opposed to playing where uh, it's more uh, world-based. I I feel like that's kind of the stronger perks to go with. Uh, the reason being because if you had 20% research, uh, that's a I forget which. Uh, trait that is, but uh, essentially some of them had 20% research, which uh, just isn't that great, I don't think. I mean, your research worlds are going to have 800, 900, 1,000 or so percent bonus to research, so that 20% is really a drop in the bucket. On the flip side, 25% more mass for what your ships can carry is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how much you can improve it via the tech tree. I feel like it's somewhere between like 50 and 80 percent though. So this could potentially allow me to fit my ships with twice as many modules as uh, my opponents. Uh, naturally I took the producing shipyard, uh, stuff from shipyards 20 percent quicker to kind of offset that because if you're going to put more stuff on ships you want to be able to produce them about as fast as your opponents. Otherwise it's kind of useless. So uh, yeah, very pitched towards the military. Um, the big man, they're basically big militaristic people. Uh, a lot of, I'll, I'll just read the little description I made up. So the big man, the big man, you gotta say it like that, are a large and militaristic people. Since their bloody conflicts have led to a united race, they now seek other beings to crush as explorers stars. The strong and hard-headed people. They're not without wit, as they utilize all means possible to expand and improve their military might. So, basically these guys think of the survival of the fittest. They've beat each other up so much now they're done doing that because they're all big like this guy and they're gonna go wreck some stuff in the galaxy let's go next all right galaxy type we want to do should I go gigantic or immense we're just gonna go gigantic we're gonna go spiral I really like spiral as opposed to clusters I just like that it actually reflects um, not all, right? But many galaxies. Occasional. Occasional. I'll leave these all. I'll go to common. And we'll go occasional. Uh, I think I'll leave most of these there. We'll leave the victory conditions. Game settings. Well, we want minor races. Pirate bases. Game pacing. Research rate. I almost want to put pirate bases up. They're kind of fun. We'll just do, we'll leave it at occasional though. Maybe I'll do a pirates let's play. That would be kind of fun. Alright, so I'm the big mon. Now let's set the game difficulty to. We'll do normal. Um, I have been playing some challenging. Uh, I don't think it's bad, right? But uh, yeah, we'll just see. Conians, Kryn. So one thing, 
Tell me in the comments if you guys figured this out. It seems like I have to make opponents for them to generate. It's not just going to randomly generate it for me, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, so I went through and just duplicated everybody, basically. I don't know how many of my custom races I really want to fight against. Uh, I don't know. That's probably enough enemies, right? There's a bunch of people. I think so. They're all normal. Maybe we'll take the Gilamons out. And the Cabal. So we'll just leave it like that. There we go. Alright, so let's get this started. Alright, here we are. So, <laughs> I guess I didn't fill this in. We have some qualities. Some of them, no doubt, are good or bad. Uh, that's just your default text. Okay, so here we are. Let's zoom out, see where we're... Ooh, awesome. I love how... Oh, gosh, this is a big map. Okay, guys. Didn't realize it was that big. Well, let's get to it. Um, I really like the Spiral Galaxy because I'm going to kind of be forced to expand this way, which I think is cool. Um, but there's these large gaps that you're going to have to overcome as opposed to just random clusters where I feel like you'd be hit next turn a lot until you had enough to retrofit your ships to travel kind of far. So, first things first, let's get some exploring going on. Um, let's send one ship that way, one ship this way. Let's get the artifact. Uh, as always, I'm going to open up with Xeno Exploration. Idle Colony. Cool, so we have some... Uh, a resource available decreases the manufacturing not the manufacturing the maintenance which is great it's basically a five percent bonus to whatever and then this is gonna add manufacturing so not a bad starting planet um, I like the plus two to manufacturing so it's perfect to pop some work camps we'll rush the one uh, and then I will just go production uh, manufacturing excuse me and research I'll bleed some money for a while. Fine with that. Um, notice the uh, perk that adds 25% more food. You start out with 10 populations, so this allows for some growth. The first part of the game where normally you'd be capped at 10. Um, I really like that because then hopefully, I guess it won't be 25 turns till transport, but uh, I'll be able to keep my population around 10 because it will grow up for that first colony ship, which is advantageous I'd say um, 19 turns boom we got the squatter you stay there squatter and that plant's gonna grow and we're waiting and this is where we see how long it takes ah, that wasn't too bad of a first turn for the computer first anomaly surveyed what do we get Ooh, boosted Xeno Exploration, not bad. Continue on your way. Alright, so my plan initially is going to be, we'll hopefully get a few plans to colonize. Really push to get some uh, bonuses economically. Uh, so I'll probably stay in the colonization tree for a while. Um, so I have some pretty potent planets. Uh, following that... Let's get that artifact. And there's a planet up here, isn't there? Uh, level 8. That's not bad. Um, hopefully I can do better. Yeah, just to make sure nothing's right next to it. Research. Okay. Um, so we can do bonus to research, bonus to manufacturing, or less cost. Now keep in mind the manufacturing cost, uh, I'm like 99% sure this doesn't apply to what's built at shipyards because that's considered military manufacturing as opposed to this is just civilian manufacturing I suppose. Could be wrong there. Uh, I'm going to just stick with labor exploitation though. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get that little bonus. Ooh, some more money for the treasury. Never a bad thing. Nothing. Wow. It's going to be a sad, cold game if I'm not finding a planet pretty soon. Huh. Okay. 
I don't really want to move my my squatter anywhere. Until I have to. Oh, there's a planet. Influence growth. Everything. Oh, there's one too. Lush. Um, we're gonna send you this way just because that's gonna take longer. And my colony ship, my squatter, excuse me, it's colony ship is ready to be turned. So this is kind of cool. I mean, look at this. It's building a colony ship. You see it there in the shipyard. Zoom in. You kind of hear that eerie background noise from space. This is a beautiful game. Um, I'm not a graphic snob, right? Um, I almost said something else that's going to be really inflammatory. Caught myself. I uh, didn't want to start a fanboy war there. Um, but I do appreciate how beautiful this game looks. I think there's something to be said uh, for the work Starduck did to... I mean, bring bring Galsiv into modern 4X games by making it look pretty. You can't just ignore that. Um, you can, but I don't think you should. And unfortunately, I play a lot of the game out like this. Um, I will try to play more so like this and use my mini-map and just be aware. So that... Oh. What is this? Pirate Fleet. Let's look at it. So they've got a couple ships. There they are. They all the same? No. Got basically some different iterations. So pirate shipyards only appear in like abandoned systems. So let's move this way. I want to do that so that I can make sure my colony ship's not going to get picked off since I know there's pirates there. So that was actually very useful to find that. I think I should be fine uh, because I'm flying this way. Just kind of want to be careful though. How about up here? What are you looking at? Nothing. Okay. It's all right. So our plant's building that second. Oh no, we're or, we're upgrading, aren't we, from a work camp to a forced labor camp? Which is great. Um, the only downside is... Well, I don't know if it's a downside. I have to decide. So this, since I'm building my manufacturing here, I feel like I could put a farm and something here. Then do research chambers, which aren't bad. I, it's, I guess it's not bad that your home world isn't crazily focused on manufacturing. Just has that initial bonus because it's going to be more populated than anything else for quite some time. Here we go. Okay. All right. But I got our colony ship built. Shipyard is idle. Let's build uh, one more squatter, I suppose. Okay, so got that done. Bonus to manufacturing. We could go Xeno Slavery, which is going to give us yet a higher tier of manufacturing. So let's see. So right now we're at 45 percent forced labor camp. Here it is 35. I'm looking at the wrong number. 25 to 35. So that's not bad. It is 16 turns. Is there something else I want? I haven't met anyone yet to trade with. Yeah, let's go Xeno slavery. Why not? Nothing. It's devoid of life. It's sad. Idle ship. Alright. I think I'm safe from pirates. I'm a few turns away, so we're going to just have my surveyor keep moving. Okay. Moving there. Lie this way. 
Idol ship. Okay, homeworld's doing good. We need to get some research popped down here, though. I'll have those built. So influence and morale. No other bonuses. It's our first colony. I go with the colony modules. I love that. This this is a nice little video. Really is. All right. So ruins. The primitive species that occupy this planet was once far more technologically advanced and accidentally ruined their civilization in some kind of nuclear war several hundred years ago. Ruined cities dot the planet will likely contain valuable resources we could easily recycle, but the natives regard these ruins as sacred and insist we stay away from them. What are your orders? So, we're not going to go stomping through someone's graveyard, so we could respect them. We'll work with the locals, or it's a real shame, and we will promise to feel bad about it, but when we're throwing everything, but, <laughs> wait, what? That's a real shame, and we, will promise, and we will promise to feel bad about it when we're throwing everything through the recycler. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. We'll go <laughs> malevolent. That's just funny. 20% manufacturing bonus. I think that's going to be most effective. And we have shield strength, military module. Hooray. Huh. This is a very snaky planet, though. Not a big fan about it. Buy that. Oh, I need to go ahead and set that as civilian levels. There we go. So we have an ideology point. So here we have a choice. This... Generates ideology points every five turns. Um, that's a point every ten turns. Huh. And I want something that's going to essentially boost how much malevolent ideology points I'm gaining. Uh, so I don't really like I could just go to intimidation centers but every 5 turns is sure better than every 10 still revenue let's go this we'll go in charitable unlock a little bonus to our income can't be the worst thing in the world wow still nobody it's kind of surprising Why him? Oh. Outsider fleet's range. Sad. Well, you wait there then. We are a few turns away from coloniz colonizing this planet, which will extend our ship range. Thankfully. Yeah, what am I? One, two, three. Yeah, I'm like two turns away. How's Callahan looking? Got some research chambers, good. I'll put one there as well. I will ship. Set course for colonization. Look at that. Don't burn up though, you gotta stay away from that sun. Colonize this planet. Aggressive natives. It's always the natives, what is it? Alright, so an aggressive species of sentient quadruplet quadrupeds quadrupeds. Excuse me, live in a forest, live in the forests and the hills of the planet. They've resisted all attempts to communicate with them and have relentlessly attacked your colony since you arrived. Although no actual threat to your military, they can harass and easily slaughter unguarded civilians. And as so often is the cause, when the risk of slaughter is non zero, morale amongst the colonists is low. What are your orders? Oh, I gotta appreciate this. Uh, wipe the natives out, wipe out the ones that don't hide. If they hide somewhere, they're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just we'll stick to it. Boost to morale, which is ironic. <laughs> Boost to morale since we're killing the natives. Jeez. Tourism and approval on wealth. Well, I can already say this is just going to be a research planet. There we go. Uh, now it has its life planned out for it. For a while, at least. 
This guy is an idle ship now, though, so we can fly that way and find that there's nothing. That's sad. Anything. Just. Oh, well, it's radioactive world. So we can't colonize that yet. Ooh, I like that. Class 13 with research capabilities. I can get behind that. Let's keep exploring, though. Okay, I'm a little surprised I haven't run into anyone yet. I felt like put a lot of people in the galaxy, but now that I see all those planets, I'm like, I probably could have used more. But that just means more expanding for me, so not the worst thing in the world. Ooh, we've got Promethean. That can be useful. Idle ship. Run this Tholium. Pretty strong pirate fleet. Let's go that way. I'm not too worried about getting resources. Oh. Okay, keep just stay away from the pirates for now. How about that? Everyone will be happy if you stay away from the pirates. Because you stay alive. I can still explore. Ooh, research. Just completely double down and go with slave pits. They're actually pretty cool. They provide some really good adjacency bonuses. But maybe we'll go research a little bit. Yeah, we'll focus on that. That's a really interesting planet system, whatever it is. Seven turns for research. Oh, not bad. Okay. So unfortunately, that's as far as I'm going to go. So we'll just set you on explore. There'll be one more planetary system. Probably won't know what's up with it for a while. And let's start moving our ships this way. By ships, I mean I'm going to move my colonizer down there. Uh, build a shaper. I don't want to suck all the people off my planet too fast. Especially since I don't necessarily have to really jump into um, quickly expanding against the AI since I don't even know if I have neighbors yet. I essentially don't. Okay, and I'm just going to be moving this guy manually so that I don't fly him into pirates. Because I think pirates by default move two. Uh, so if you're, if you're going through possibly dangerous space take the time to just choose where you're going to move. Save you lots of headaches in the future. Because there's nothing more frustrating than sacrificing 25 turns worth of population because you're dumb and your colony ship gets picked off by pirates. Nothing here. So maybe move down this way. Check these last few planets out. I guess I should probably swing over here before I do anything else. Yeah. Come this way, buddy. Okay, slowly moving. Now I'm a little bit more sure what's around me. And so right now I'm just trying to get my worlds running all I'm focused on. More research. Uh, hmm. Well, let me look real quick, because I did labor exploitation, right? Is that... Yeah, so it's just a, ten, a flat 10% bonus. Which is nice, but I feel like decreasing the maintenance or so you essentially get every 10th one is free. The manufacturing cost I'm kind of attracted to. A lot of times I will specialize my worlds. Um, so they basically are just pumping out research or manufacturing. So if I can build stuff a little quicker, I think I might go with that. Idle ship. 
take a little bit more risk since I have a little bit more line of sight here. Anything cool down there? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Alright. Well, this is crazy. I'm not going to know anybody. I'm just out on the fringes of space by my lonesome. If that's the case... Might as well turn these both into research worlds. I'm not leeching money that bad. So I want to colonize this, definitely. I want that research bonus. I'll take that. Okay. Idle ship. Fly down here. You're almost there. Almost safely made it. One, two, three, four. Colonize it. Leaking seals. A sudden increase in storm activity on the planet has dramatically increased the weathering of the seals on your colony buildings. A new generation of self-healing seals will help minimize the damage, but replacing them could be pretty expensive. What are your orders? So our colonists won't be made to suffer for our cheapness. Or I could, uh, let's begin installing the new seals on a nutrition base as the old ones break down. Or we can afford it, and even if we could, we don't want to call to these people. They're, they'll never develop a tolerance for poison that way. Oh, geez. Um, so there's really nothing great. Reduce manufacturing, population. I'll go with population growth. In the long run, that won't matter. This planet's not going to be exposed. It's not on the frontier. I don't need to crab. basically explode my population. So, Boom. And what do we got? Oh, mineral rich. Perfect. That's not bad with the wealth, but we'll buy that first one. Then we'll throw some research centers over here and just see where things go. Explore that last planet. Ooh, ideology. Plus a class of our first five worlds by one. I'll take that. It's now a class 14. They got a new tile there. This guy, don't know where I got the new tile, that's okay. Back home, oh, another tile there, so I could actually, that would be good, because this gives a bonus to manufacturing, it gives two, so I'd have a three plus manufacturing bonus there, that's really not bad, I might actually just sneak those up there. There we go. Oh yeah, get the research stockade done first. It's working on that. And waiting. Okay. Idle ship. Let's see what there is. This is where that pirate. Oh, there's just a pirate base there. Yeah. So. Move that way. Hmm. Slave camp. I guess, I mean, we gotta get this done, right? Uh, and we can throw some research there. <laughs> Excuse me there. So I don't face any military threat right now. I have yet to even meet a minor race, and it's going to be a while before I can get across that, so I'm just going to focus on research. Uh, I think that's going to be the best thing I can do. Uh, what's my range? Like one, two, three, four, five on each side. I go right there. Turn the grid on everywhere. One, seven right there. One. Ah, I can't quite get both of those. Maybe right there. I just fly up there. We'll see what happens. Okay. One more turn. We'll stop on turn 35. Oh, well, that's just going to be one of those turns. So we'll stop there then. So thanks for watching this first episode. Uh, again, I'm surprised we haven't run into anyone. But that just means when we do, it will be all the sweeter to kill them. Uh, I do kind of like how I'm going to be isolated here. I'm going to end up having a really long empire, which will be an interesting position. Uh, doubtless, this is where all the action is going to happen. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see what comes our way.
Things aren't too bad. I guess my ship range isn't as off as I thought it was. Interesting. I put a little research into that, or built a star base right there. I could get out there. You know, that's an idea, maybe, trying to expand this way, as opposed to if I have a really long empire. We'll think about that. We'll, we'll approach that next video. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope, uh, you know, if you haven't checked this game out, check it out. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, and the best way to do that, I guess, I'll just pitch myself. Just keep watching these videos. Hopefully they're great. So, in the uh, um, comments, feel free to jab at whatever you want me to show off. This is going to be a pretty long Let's Play series, and I plan on sticking it out. So, uh, I will be designing some ships. If you want some kind of side videos of me making something, let me know. I'll be doing that more when I probably have medium or large holes. So, uh, But in the meantime... Uh, check out the other stuff we got on our YouTube page as uh, well as the, the website. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to catch you next time.